Say it's work, it's work to believe God. All right, look, get John chapter 6. Am I going back to John chapter 6? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good chapter. You should, you should spend some time there. Get John chapter 6, Hebrews uh, 4 and Hebrews 10. You got enough fingers. Just put your finger in there. Hebrews 4, Hebrews 10. John chapter 6. I'm going to let you all go, and you have to come back and find out if you got faith like a prostitute. I'm going to, because you can't make it. You ain't going to make it if you don't. And most, and I, I know it's, it is attention grabbing, but it is T-R-U-T-H. And it's real. If you don't have the faith of a prostitute, bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, because them, them are the dusty ups. Look how good I am. Look at my exterior, my posture. I mean, look at, look at, look at my facade. <laughs> Hypocrisy. What's on the inside? And what's on the inside always shows up on the outside. So if you got that nasally up in there, da, 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 we know nothing inside. Because nobody speaks like that. Just when we know you sweat, spit, and sweat, and go, we know you ain't got nothing on the inside too. Pray, look, move right along, glory to God. Hallelujah. So I should be able to talk to you just like I'm talking to you. Pastor don't have his church voice. In his meeting, you have to serve his voice. Oh, how are you doing? And a home voice. You heard me at home. You heard me here. You heard me here. You heard me at home. Right. Every believer, if I cut you, you should be the same inside and out. Right, right, right. That's what Christians being is all about. Say it's work to believe. It's, work to believe. it's hard work to believe, but it is not work that people have been doing. You got John chapter 6? Some people ask Jesus. Verse 28, what do we got to do do we do the work of God? These are the same people who left him. Like, <laughs> they don't want to hear the answer. Watch out when you ask God a question. Do you really want the answer? Anyway, they ask him, what do we got to do? To, what does God require of us? What does God really want us to do so we can benefit of his, all of his goodness? You know, they say to do the works of God. They want, they ate by a miracle. They want the rewards of God. They're asking a good question. And Jesus answers it perfectly. Verse 29. 629, then Jesus answered them and said, this is the work of God. Don't get five jobs. <laughs> Don't network and politic. Don't suck up. Don't, don't try to earn and deserve. Those are, those are all produce of your own unworthiness. No, this is the work of God. What's the work of God? Come on, say that, y'all. What is the work of God? You believe on faith in him whom God has sent. That means you believe God if you believe on the one who he sent. And if you believe on the one he sent, then you know what to do because he lived here and he dwelled here and he showed us what to do. And your work is to believe him. Do what you see him do. Say what you hear him say. He's the head, you're the body. That's what the body does, what the body says, what the head says. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, it's work to believe on God. Right. You have to fight through all the contrary. All it is is physical, false evidence. Why is it false? Because it doesn't line up with the truth of God, the promise of God. It can't counteract the truth of God ever unless a person lets go of their faith. Unless a person stops believing, it's not the faith that got stopped. It was the person that got separated from the faith that is invincible. That's why James said, my brothers, count it all joy, count it joy. Where's the joy in the church? Everybody talking about, well, where's the joy then? I said, where's the joy then? He said, he didn't say it is joy. He said, you better act like it. Act like you know something. Right, yeah. Count it all joy. When you fall into diverse temptations, God's not a sadist. It's not, it's not nice being in trouble. That's why he says act like, count it, reckon it. Count it all joy. When you're there, knowing the end from the beginning, that this trying of your faith, not you, we know you'll fail. But the faith of God is invincible. No, you got to get that. We know you'll fail. 
He's trying to separate you from your faith because that won't fail. Knowing that the trying of your faith, it doesn't say you. It says the trying of your faith works or produces endurance. Endurance is the ability to withstand anything that comes against you. That means you're the last one standing. It is not passing time. It's not putting up with. It's not meeting the match. It's overcoming. Knowing that the trying of your faith produces the victory in you, the endurance to overcome. But let patience have its whole, complete, entire work that you might be whole and complete and entire, lacking nothing. But what do you see in the church too much? Oh, oh, count it all joy. Pastor, you ought to be nicer. No, I ought to be biblical. God can't lie. Put up or there the door. People don't know who Jesus is. We read in chapter 6, all them people were going to hell. You don't think Jesus knew? He knew He knew where they were gone before they knew it. You see him run after them? Because he said the truth. And every all he would say is, those who have ears to hear, let them hear what I said to the church. Then he says this in John chapter 10. My sheep hear my voice. So you just listen to people. And you watch them. They, they, they tell you who they're following. Because Jesus said, no, those, those, those who are mine know my voice. And they'll do the work, which is to believe on me. Not a theory. Not a, 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 you're not believing a cause. You're believing a living person. The only begotten son of God. All man, all God, Jesus the Christ, who is alive. He's not dead. That's the big mistake the church makes. Everything's a cross. Everything's, everything's death. He rose. He's alive to this day. He's soon to come back. <laughs> and he said, you better be ready. <laughs> oh, he don't let up. Tell the person next to you, Jesus, just don't let up. Yeah, I'm coming back for you. Everybody said, yay. He said, y'all be ready. Y'all watch and pray. <laughs> the church ain't no picnic. <laughs> it's not a club. It's a family. <laughs> now, what's the family about? Believing on the Father, like every good family should. Mm, and every father should be in line. And it's not physical work. It's believing work. And everyone believes. It is impossible not to believe. If I don't believe what you believe, I disbelieve what you believe. And I believe what I believe. But no one's in neutral. Yeah, God teaches. He says, to the pure, all things are pure. In other words, if you're right, all things are right. But to them that are defiled and unbelieving, it means disbelieving. You can't be in neutral. Right. Nothing is pure. Nothing is right. Sounds like the news. But even their mind and their conscience is contaminated. What are you believing? You're believing something. All right. And the outcome is determined by the root. What are you believing? If you're not believing God, then you're disbelieving him. Yeah, God shakes us because we can't be asleep. <laughs> what did he say? Yeah, if you're not believing God, you're disbelieving him. You're not preparing to believe him. You're in reverse. <laughs> Amen. And the work of God is to what? To believe on him whom he has sent. So you have to start, Jesus said this, these who are my family are those who do the will of my Father. He says it like this, okay, let, let, let me make it a little closer to you. Those who keep my sayings of mine and do them. So you can get started right now, today. What has Jesus said? Keep that, and you'll know him. Amen. That is believing on him. Well, tithing, I can't tithe. Well, see, you got some work to do. 
or you're going to believe, you're going to convince yourself that you can't live by returning to God what is holy, a mere 10%. He's given you everything, including your breath and your body. He only called for 10% to show yourself faithful. But uh, you can't do that. No, what you're doing is you're not believing on him. You're not doing the work of God. You're doing your work. And as long, watch this, when people work, that struggle. Say struggle. When I say people's work, you say struggle. People's work. Struggle. People's work. Struggle. When people work, struggle. and it repels the blessing of God, the grace of God. As long as a person works, struggle. okay, wake up, wake up, wake up. We're going to be here longer if you uh, go to nap and I'll take it out of your time. All right, so when people work, struggle. when people work, struggle. goodness of God can't come to them. They repel it. When they believe God, what is the work of God to believe? It's not, it's not work. It's believing. When people work, when people work, that's why they're mad. But when you do the work of God, you believe on him whom he sent. So you will do what you have to believe. And you'll have to white knuckle it. You will have to push through. You will have to let your faith be tested so you can then get the endurance to stand. Oh, no, I'm delivering this 10%. You will do what you got to do. That's the work of God. And see, it's not physical work. It's all spiritual work. Get your mind and your emotions under control. See, you are not a mind. You're a spirit inside this body. Make your body do it. 